Hi, this is Storm Knight here, and I'm just going to take you quickly through some of the setup and usage of Research Grid. So, first off, I've installed the mod, and you can see from having a look on add ons on the menu, there's all the stuff that I've got installed, and there it is just there AI Research Grid. Okay, first off, you can use the slash command to bring it up slash A I R G. Bam, there it is. First thing you'll notice is that it's automatically figured out which profession you're most likely to want to see, which is the one that's got the most traits that you've done the research in. And it'll pop up for your current character, which is this one here, and showing you which profession is in there. You can easily switch which profession you're looking at by clicking on these buttons, and they'll show you your research in other, as you can see I haven't done much blacksmithing on this character and I've done a fair bit of woodworking there as you can see all the little green ticks show that I've researched it so we can see here for a bow I've researched charged precise training and weighted if you mouse over these it shows you exactly what they do as you'd see in the rest of the game and for convenience sake shows me at the bottom of the screen that I've researched a total of four okay going back into clothing there you can see it's got a little research timer there because I'm currently in the middle of researching infused for a leather jacket and vines for boots. Another handy feature that you'll see is at the bottom of the screen you've got the styles here. This shows me which motifs or styles I've already, I have already know. So when you get one of those, hey, do you want one of these books from your guildies? Then you already know whether you need it or not. So I can do Altmer, Argonian, Bosma, Protonian. Dunmer. I'm uh, still looking out for Kajit, so if I get one of those, and then I'll use that and learn that. And I'm still looking out for Orc and Red Guard. Uh, there's Imperial, and then there's also the higher level drops there as well. One of the more powerful features about this is that I can switch characters, and I can easily see here, okay, well, let's have a look at one of my other characters. Huh, well, this guy here, he only knows uh, his default. He doesn't know anything about clothing or woodworking. Blacksmithing, he knows two traits. So, yeah, I really ought to start sending him some stuff so he can do his blacksmithing. Switching back to my main character, there's a button here that you can use to switch uh, and to close that down, or you can use the AIRG toggle again. One of the best ways of accessing uh, Research Grid is through setting up a key binding. So, if I hit the Escape key, and go to controls. I'm on key binding and I'll scroll down here and I'll see hey there's AI research grid. So I just click on where it says not bound here and then I'm going to pick a key. So I'm going to use the left bracket key because that's my preference for this and then I click bind. I'm done. I go resume here and now whenever I hit the left bracket key if it pops or down it goes. And that's it. That's AI Research Grid. I hope you guys get a lot of use out of this. Thanks.